around this whole building materials um, and input into construction capacity build up now if we if they enjoyed a real estate cycle for a better part of 2021 and maybe half of 22 and who knows that may last because typically real estate cycles last for a bit but it's, i was just thinking out loud, thinking around that this whole data center theme or or any other capex that comes in whether private or public whether it's global in nature global company setting up shop or domestic capex uh, the building materials themes would continue to benefit, right? So is, is that turning out to be a multi-year theme or not quite? I mean, if you're specifically asking about cement, unfortunately, I'm kind of not, uh, not a huge uh, fan of that industry for the simple reason that over the last three decades, uh, I've always seen that supply exceeds demand. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's very easy to bring on supply. Consolidation has happened over the last decade. Um, and with the latest, uh, you know, change of ownership, um, uh, you will see some more consolidation coming through this year. But the consolidation is still not enough or adequate to uh, ensure pricing discipline. Uh, so, you know, this is a very strange industry where cost of setting up new capacity has consistently declined hmm. and supply has continuously surprised us. So, you know, you might see trading opportunities here, but honestly, I'm not a huge fan of the cement industry to put it in a very, very short uh, uh, answer. Yeah, but I was actually wanting to ask you more about, you know, um, tiles, plywood, structural steel, what have you. Yeah, yeah. All, all those places, uh, you will see interesting opportunities because I don't think the building um, the, or the construction or, or new buildings uh, theme is going out anytime soon. I think we haven't done anything for nearly a decade. So hopefully this boom is going to last three, four, five years. Um, I think the, the macro risk there is only one, that if for whatever reason inflation doesn't come off and energy prices don't come off and India continues to run the very large deficit that we are running on the trade side, the RBI may not have any option but to raise rates uh, a lot more than what I can I mm -hmm. can think of right now. So you know all these factors are connected in 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 a sense, right? So unless the energy prices normalize, I don't see how RBI can follow the U.S. Fed's path and fall in into rising rates uh, sometime in the first quarter. So if that doesn't happen, then you will see the real estate industry slowing down. So that's the risk that you know we all have to bear in mind. But my sense is that the construction boom is here to stay. So in, um, in, in ancillary uh, products uh, related to that industry, whether it's plywood, whether it's wires, uh, cables, uh, white goods, um, you know, and so on and so forth. Yes, bottom up, there will be opportunities and, and I'm looking at them in the same framework as I discussed before, where margins are depressed and margins will normalize. So maybe there's an opportunity. Mm -hmm.